Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm bringing you a weapon review of the K10 versus the Scorpion. And they, to me, they feel kind of similar in their rate of fire and their kind of damage. But, I don't know, let's look further in to the advantages of the K10. First of all, all these statistics are on synthic.com. You can go check them out yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below. And first of all, the K10 has a much more maximum damage of 33 bullet of 33 damage per shot than the Scorpion's 24. But so you know, it does more damage at close range than the Scorpion does. But the damage drop off ends a little further than the Scorpion just by one meter, which isn't much. But the K10 still has that better advantage of having a better drop off and. Also a slightly higher fire rate, which only by 50, I mean, still, it's just 50 rounds per minute faster. But that, that doesn't make much of a difference, I still say they're the same exact speed and whatnot. But, you know, it has a much faster tactical reload, that is if there is one bullet or more left in the magazine of 1.5 seconds of the K10. Now that is a really quick reload to help you in those firefights that if you have, like, if you have one bullet spare, but if you don't have a uh, bullet spare, it will take you 2.23 seconds, which is still faster than the Scorpion's, which the Scorpion has 2.2 seconds uh, tactical reload, which is bullets left in the magazine, and a 3.2 second empty reload. Now, the K10's um, empty reload is the same as the Scorpion's bullets left in this magazine, so Obviously, the K10 has a much faster reload as you would expect it to do, because it's pretty much like a fucking pistol magazine, but you know. And let's just go with the slightly less upwards recoil of 2.2 for the K10, and the Scorpion comes in at 0.35 upwards recoil, that's while ADS standing. But yeah, also it has a bit lower first shot recoil multiplier of 2.4 than the Scorpion's 2.5, which isn't much, but, you know, it's still a fair amount, to be honest, I mean, it's easy to control it, but, this is console, I mean, I'm on console, this is console footage, I don't know if this is console stats, but, who gives a fuck, it's, it's statistics, but, you know, and significantly less spread increase per shot of 0.085, now, this is actually really more significant to the Scorpion's 0. 0.3 that is like 72% less on the K10 when shooting I mean that is pretty much decent I mean the Scorpion and then the K10 has less spread shock so you can pretty much hit fire all day so with a laser sight it'll improve it but now let's get on to the advantages of the Scorpion it has a much more minimum damage so remember when it when the K10 and the Scorpion drops off the Scorpion drops off to 12 minimum damage that is to the K10's 8 which 8 bullets you need a lot of shots into the enemy to actually kill them I think yeah you will I can't remember how much it is but it is 50% more damage at longer range to this K10 and the drop off starts a little further of 8 meters to the K10's 5 meters so I you know that's 60% further drop off to the Scorpion also, another major advantage to the Scorpion, even though it's not major, but it does have 5 extra bullets in the magazine, that is with a full magazine of 31 bullets, even though it has 30 bullets in the mag, with a empty reload, but 1 bullet in the chamber, it will give you 31, so that is a significant range of bullets, you can kill an extra person with that, probably if you're in close range, but if you're in wrong range you wouldn't really kill them, but also has a much longer maximum distance of 690 meters compared to the K10's 465 meters. Man, that is you, that means you can shoot further, and with that much more minimum damage of 12 to the K10's 8, you will be doing much, much better damage than the K10, of course. And also, the much higher muzzle velocity to the Scorpion of 460 meters per second, then the K10's 310 meters per second, which means your bullets will get to your enemy much quicker on the Scorpion than does the K10, 
and as with the K10 this recoil and the ADS with left and right oh, here we go. recoil on the, on the left is 0 0.2 the K10 is 0.45 recoil that is on the left and on the right pull or ADS standing as well that is 0.4 the K10 is 0.45 which is relatively relatively close to it still does have a much better pull than the K10. And now for the sequence stats on the K10 and the Scorpion, which is with no attachments yet again. So these are the things that are equal on both the K10 and the Scorpion. Both have an equal bullet drop of 15 meters per second. So they both drop at the same rate, so both you'll need to if you can't for those long distances you will need to aim a bit higher with both of the guns, so you know, why not? And also the same recoil decrease for ADS standing is a 20. I don't fucking know what that means, I'm just thinking I should play out, but the same amount of spread ADS not moving is at 0.4 for each of the K10 and Scorpion and has the same amount of spread for ADS moving at 0.8 so your bullets will just go wherever while moving shooting at the same time so they will spread so you might want to put a laser sight on there because I know I do I just use the whatever sight I want laser sight and a long barrel because why not you just need it and also with the same amount of hip while stand, standing and not moving and hip crouching not moving and hip prone not moving both coming at one spread which you know you're pretty much not going to get any spread on the gun just that little bit of spread so you will still feel it but not as much and also the same amount of hip standing moving hip crouching moving and hip prone moving is at 1.25 each apart from the hip stand moving is 1.5 so that's just spread on your guns so pretty much that is what is the same on the K10 and the Scorpion is basically the spread is all the same so and the distance to wear it bullet drop and whatnot so that's pretty much everything that is the same to the Scorpion and the K10 so in conclusion I mean I would rather have the Scorpion because it just looks nicer, it has a much bigger magazine, it has more minimum damage than 12 to 10 and 8, and also it it's just has a much longer maximum distance and a higher muzzle velocity which will get your gun, to get your bullets to the enemy much quicker than the K-10. So, and it has, a little not has a lesser damage, but in close quarters, that 50 RPM won't do, so it feel like it's the exact same pretty much. These two guns are basically the same fire rate, but the Scorpion has a much higher magazine rate with all the bullets in the range chamber with 31 for the KNs. K10, why does it say the KN? Like that. K10 26. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the weapon review. Leave a like, and subscribe, comment which gun you would use if you have the game. If not, see you in the next one. Bye bye.